MTD CNC have travelled to Birmingham. We're back at Bromford Industries and I'm with Alan, Vice President of Business Developments. Now, Alan, thanks for having us back firstly. Now, today I want to discuss really a lot of topics, but firstly, you know, what has changed in the last three months? I think, as you possibly see when you walk around the factory, we've, uh, we've gone live with some of the recent investments that we've made um, in our latest aerospace contracts. We're now actually cutting metal um, whereas I don't think we were last time you were here. And also we've, we've moved on in terms of our investment and we've got more machinery and, and more equipment turning up in the next month or two, again, deployed on the new contracts and the, and the, the success that we're having. We're going to be touching on your latest investment um, shortly. However, I want to start with really, you as a company really take pride in promoting yourselves. Um, like I've not seen in, in, in many other companies. You know, what is this? What are you looking to achieve from doing this? I think there's a couple of different aspects to it. I, th I think the first one is that we should be very proud of our aerospace industry, especially here in the Midlands. Um, I think it's largely undersold. So we'd really like to put, put our name out there as, as an industry. But secondly, from a Bromford perspective, we've been here for several years now. As you've seen, we're a big building. Everybody sees us as they drive by but we have no real connection with the local area and that's something we want to broaden out and attract people into our business and make them aware of who we are. So is it all about people really, Alan, in your opinion? Very much so, yeah. We're great believers here at Bromford that your people are your most valuable resource and I know that's an overused industry cliche, but they really are. We have some very long-serving people here and to counteract that, you know, as people retire and move on, we need to bring new talent uh, and new fresh faces into the business to give us that continuity, but also to challenge us to do better things. On my previous visit, you know, we talked about your mission and your vision, and, and, and I can see that it's, it's progressing nicely just in three months. Now, let's start with the technology. So what is your latest investment? So the latest investment is uh, new vertical boring machines, um, and we're also, we've got uh, a new FMS system that's gonna be arriving in the next couple of months. And again, that's to assist in the output and productivity through greater levels of automation and allowing us to achieve our ultimate goal of lights out running here at Birmingham. And how important do you believe automation is to the UK's manufacturing industry in general, not just in aerospace? Well, I think you have to look at your global competitors. And when we look at uh, man hour rates and costs associated with operating in the UK, then the way that we can achieve parity with the rest of the world is through automation, by taking our costs out and deploying them in other areas, maximise our efficiency, um, allows us to compete on the global stage. Is it also a way for you to grow as a business? I mean, you're growing rapidly as a business. Is this another way and an avenue to grow? Is the technology one of them aspects that you just can't, can't overlook? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, in, in every area of the world, wherever you look, there's a drive towards modern technology. And when you look at the usable floor space that we have available across all of our sites, it's obviously in our interest to maximise the utilisation of that floor space and the best way to maximise it is through actually cutting metal. So it lends itself perfectly to the, the adoption of that technology. And the cutting of the metal here, can you give our audience uh, an example of the components that you manufacture? Yes, we're manufacturing uh, high-speed uh, hot-end rotating components for uh, aerospace gas turbine engines. So we're using alloys such as Inconel and Wasp alloy and various other hard metals. And you're not just metal removing, you're also additive manufacturing and you've entered that arena too. Can you give me a bit of information about that please? Yes, the, uh, the additive manufacturing is based down at our Bromford Technologies site down in Ulster um, and that's around manufacturing fixtures and jigs um, for manufacturing some of the fabricated components that we have down there. So it's assembly and test of fabrications. And I don't want to put you on the spot but do you believe um, in the future that critical aerospace components may be uh, 3D printed? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's a, a committed drive towards that within the industry. It's already in place um, with non-critical components. And I think the drive towards critical components is purely based around speed of manufacture and integrity of the material. But I'm sure with the engineering talent that we have in this country that we will achieve th that position fairly, fairly soon. What is your connection with the Midlands Aerospace Alliance? So I'm the chairman of the business development group within the Midlands Aerospace Alliance. So our role is to represent our members and also the alliance itself in engaging with the industry at large and improving the way in which we, we actually engage with that industry and connect with our peers and with our customers. And where do you see the next six months, Alan? 
the next six months, our, our entire objective is really focused around en enabling that engagement between uh, students and young talent and the industry itself, but also enabling our members and the, the other member uh, companies to engage with other alliances around the UK and engage with the industry at large.